Connecticut, Jake Higginson. Occupying car number 22, he is from Stratford. In the Eddie W Wrestling and Runner Car Machine, it's Jeffrey Hubble. And then starting scratch, car number 08, it'll be Bill Staves out of Windsor Locks, Connecticut. These are the Dare Stock Division. Second feature event in the night, presented in part by your friends at Napa, where Napa know-how is more than a phrase, it's a way of life. Napa Auto Care Centers, look for the blue, gold, and white for Napa. Parts, service, price, and much, much more. We salute our Napa Auto Parts stores for being a part of this evening's historic night for the second annual Napa Auto Parts SK5K, presented in part by Dunleavy's Truck and Trailer Repair. On the starter stand, Rich Keeter looks him over. The green flag is out, and Nicole Chambrello tries to make a run for it, but Marcello Raffano quickly moves to the outside, and right there with him is the number 14 of Zach Robinson. Robinson moves into second. Here comes Dembeck. Look at Latwell and Alexander Fernmat in the middle of the pack. And Alexander are trying to stay even with Frank Latois. And now it is Hearn who is able to get the jump on the point leader. So that's a surprise for the 12th car of Alexander Fern. And Latois is fighting back on the inside. Meanwhile, just in front of him, Dembeck is literally all over Chambrello's back bumper. But there's still a side-by-side -side race going on in its quest for the fifth and sixth position. Off turn number four, Frank Latois still trying to hold off as Alexander Fern is right there. And all of a sudden, maybe a surprise, Phil Evans. That 27 car is looking racy and coming to the front as well. Speaking of being racy, check out the 93 of Dembeck as he is able to waltz around the 16 of Nicole Borgello to land into the top three. And it looks like Frank Latois is going to try the same move. Right now, he is loading up the quiver to go against the 16 of Shea Brello. There's no question about it. There is a scramble of cars that literally are dicing and slicing to get to the front of this field. Now it's Phil Evans, who's side by side with the defending champion. And Evans almost shakes off Latois, but Latois fights back. And they're wheel to wheel and side by side as they rumble back to the line. And Evans has some muscle as he is able to wear out that number 33 car of Latois. And now Motown is going after the 16 of Chambrello. But a crossover move by Frank Latois. It might have caught Evans by surprise. Evans has so much giddy up that he just literally pulls away from Latois as they continue to battle in the quest for positions five and six. Good racing side by side. Now Evans was completely sideways that time by. Latois just doesn't give up. Back up front. Zach Robinson is glued to the back bumper of Marcello Raffrano, the leader of the pack. Side-by-side -side racing back in the bottom of the top five. Ed Robinson is in striking distance of the 48 of Marcello Raffrano. Remember a week ago, Marcello led every lap except the last one. And right now he is trying to hold his own against Robinson, who has won with this year. What a job by Nicole Chambrello. She said her luck was going to turn around tonight. She knew what she was talking about because she is holding off both Phil Evans and Frank Latois. You know, those two guys have been slicing and dicing back and forth. Meanwhile, we've got car number 04 going around, uh, or 84 going around. That's the 84 of Randy Higginson that spins just before the Napa Auto Care Center. A billboard in turn and in Westfield on Springfield Road for the Napa Auto Parts store there as well. And in Vermont, in Bello Falls on 8 Island Street, in Brattleboro on Canal Street, in London Dairy on North Main Street, and in Springfield, Vermont on Chester Road. And of course in Rhode Island, the Westerly store. Back to Matt Buckler. A very critical restart for Marcello Raffrano, and he is able to rise to the occasion as he lightning bolts his way back into the league. Second is a battle between Denbeck and the 93, and on the outside is Zach Robinson, and now Phil Evans wants to be part of the action as he mixes it up in the top four. He certainly does. He goes to the outside of Denbeck, almost like Denbeck was literally uh, riding the brakes in the car. That's how quickly he went to the outside. Zach Robinson still setting in the second spot, and here comes that 27, Phil Evans. 
It is definitely quick on the racetrack. Let's see what's going to happen as they come back to the line. Marcello Rafano is still the leader, and Zach Robinson is trying just about everything. And now, nine of the 15 laps are in the record books, and Matt, there's still a lot of good racing left in this one. And a man who might be responsible for a lot of that good racing, car number 11, Tyler Trott. Remember, he has a two-race winning streak, so now he has emerged into the top five. Things are getting crowded for second. Bill Evans, this is only his third ever deer stock race, and he has inside maneuverability against Zach Robinson. He certainly does, and he just doesn't give up. He forces Zach Robinson up the racetrack. Meanwhile, side by side, Dembeck and Robinson have their own little battle going on. That's for the third and the fourth position. Back off turn number four, less than five circuits remain in this one, and it's Marcello Raffano, still the leader of the pack, but Bill Evans, who started back in the 10th position, he is really the quickest car in the racetrack. Look at this match. And that's an old Scott Cook car, and he is putting it to use as he blurs his way underneath Marcello Raffano to move in front. He takes over the lead, setting a pace as they come off turn number four. Marcello Raffano settling back into second. Robinson still setting in the third position. Dembeck is up to the fourth spot. Tyler Trott. And now, all of a sudden, Zach Robinson tries to make a bid down underneath Marcello Raffano. And that works to the advantage of Dembeck, Matt. Yeah, it looked like Robinson lost his bite, and he is going backwards. And Dembeck was able to get the spot in car number 93. Now the 11 of Trot trying to pull even with Zach Robinson to the 14. So Trot has some life, but the man with all the energy is Phil Evans in car number 27, looking for his first ever Stafford victory. He continues to start to string it out at the point. Meanwhile, Tyler Trot, Frank Latois, and Robinson all battling at the bottom of the top five. White flag is out. Final circuit. Evans way out in front. Marcello Raffano still in second. Dembeck is still in third. Robinson in the fourth position. And there's a side-by-side -side battle for five. And Latois trying to get there. Here is Phil Evans putting the finishing touches on an emphatic win. Evans will win it, followed by Raffano. Then Dembeck in third. Zachary Robinson finishes it. In Tonight, the big story is the Gambler's Challenge. Presented in part by Dunleavy's Truck and Trailer Repair. 24 drivers, $7,200. Added to the additional purse, making it the biggest payday in the history of SK Model 5 Racing here from the Stafford Motor Speedway. A lot of twists and turns in this one. No one in the paddock area knows how many laps. No one knows what the actual start will be and how it will all shake out tonight. Presented in part by Napa Auto Parts, we salute all of our friends from Napa and the VIP suites up above turn number four, Autograph Alley. As we said, the SK Modified drivers were there, and we couldn't do it without the support of other great people like Wheeler's Auto, providing us with uh, qualifying money for the SK Modifieds and Dunleavy's truck and trailer repair. Now let's direct our attention down track side. As we go back down, John Gates is there with a very happy winner, I'm okay. sure. Okay, Phil Evans is out of the race car, fans. His first victory here at the Stafford Motor Speedway, and what a win it was. Motown has arrived at Stafford. After three races, Phil Evans picks up the victory. And I'll tell you what, Phil, man, that was a rocket ship from the get-go today, man. The 27 was moving. Yeah, we, uh, we've been having a issues here and there you know car's been sitting for a while but uh i really 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 gotta thank scott cook you know he put me in this ride you know he believed in me and uh he's given me everything to win phil man i tell you what coming up through the field you look like a pro out there man that was a great race you had there yeah you know we came up here to have fun you know don't mean you know i don't want to get into anybody you know people are running for points you know trying to run clean and everything but yeah we're definitely having fun how about some sponsors? Uh, I got to thank Erasable Images, uh, Northeast Protective, uh, let me think here, Shantock Motors, Air Gas, Spafco, Terry Transmissions, uh, Pettit Race Engines, and uh, especially Scott Cook, Chase Cook, their whole family for letting me do this. There he is, folks, Phil Evans, Victory Lane in the Deer Stock Division. We're going to go talk to Connor Sullivan.
Well, second week in a row, it's another second place for Marcello Frana. I think the first thing you said when you got out of the car, not again. You know, I guess the lap lap's just not my deal, but there was an extra lap that time, so, you know, the last couple of laps, that thing was crazy. I don't know how I wheeled that thing. I had to get out of the gas so much. You know, I got to thank uh, Keith Rocco for getting the setup in the car. You know, uh, Todd Cervello for uh, setting the toe on this car, checking the timing. You know, every little help counts, and you know, every week we come up another spot. So next week we'll try and be in victory lane, I guess. Never give up attitude for Marcello Rufrano. He comes home in second tonight, and the Dare Sexes will bring over Dan Dembeck. Coming home in third with a very slick move with a couple of laps to go. Dan, tell, take us through it. Oh, it was pretty good. I don't know. That car was a little bit loose. Finally, it started coming in at the end. I mean, I got to thank my guys, Jimmy, his son, my father, the busting his hump all week. I mean, we had to pull the motor twice. I'm surprised I'm even here right now. Um, Pete at Lickett Signs does a great job. Um, the guys are painting my car. Um, Armin, his son. Uh, that's all I got to say. <laughs> all right, Dan Dembeck brings her home in third position. And so that'll do it for the Dare Sucks. Let's send it back up.